So we have with us today Professor Dr. Ravi Kumar, who is a well-renowned pediatric surgeon of the country and the world, and is very widely appreciated and loved and admired by everyone. He has been one of the students of Professor M. S. Ramakrishnan, and I just urged him to uh, share his experience about Professor M. S. M. S. R. Uh, in this uh, interview. So. Far. Uh, Professor Amasar was a, a really a very hard taskmaster, first of all, and then uh, very punctual, and then uh, every principle of the pediatric uh, surgical procedures to which we were quite new when we joined as a postgraduate. I mean, he taught us from the beginning, and the transition from an adult surgeon to pediatric surgeon initially because I, I had I was al already completed four years of uh, general surgery uh, as an assistant professor in Tanjavur. Then I joined uh, M. S. Ramakrishnan and therefore the transition from the adult surgical principles to pediatric surgical principles took some time and then he, he shaped it and then uh, Every every small aspect of it, and also the challenging aspects of certain surgical procedures like congenital diaphragmatic cornea, tracheoesophageal fistulas, where we had a very high mortality, and uh, and he, he was a, a excellent uh, plastic surgeon also, and then he used to do cleft lip and cleft palate very well. And in the cleft palate, uh, there is a particular technique uh, called uh, uh, island flap technique, where a distal portion of the uh, heart palate uh, mucosa that has been uh, uh, elevated based on the greater palate and artery, it is cut, and ultimately, and the, when the soft palate is sutured, horizontally incised, and this cut portion is inserted inside so that there is no willopharyngeal incompetence. Like that, every every small technical aspect of both pediatric surgery uh, as well as the pediatric plastic surgery, he taught us. He was the first person, even well before Broca, the pre-propitial graft that is taken after the release of the cardi or the hypospheres he used to put it, and then uh, uh, and we had an excellent result uh, following the second stage hypospadias repair. Unfortunately, it was not published, and therefore he was not well known for the same procedure which Braca subsequently popularized. Sir, thank you for letting us know about so many interesting facts about MSR, sir. Sir, as far as I know, uh, he was the first person in India to start MCH program uh, in our country, sir. So yeah. what challenges uh, he encountered and how do you advise the young people who are about to start their departments and start new MCH courses? What we can learn from him and his experience? So nearly uh, about eight to nine years, every day we were doing night duty on an alternate days uh, work. And it was uh, challenging and tough. And once we started showing the results and then interacting with the pediatricians and obstetricians, which I think the most important thing to propagate your speciality. Uh, you have to get yourself invited. I mean, you, uh, they, even if they don't invite you, you must get yourself invited. Invited to the Indian Medical Association, Indian Association of uh, Pediatrics and also the gynec. I think the interaction with all other specialities, apart from your own specialty, is uh, very important. And, uh, and that is the process that Professor MSR was also doing in that. Working in unison with pediatricians is very, very important. My next question to you is, uh, sir. Uh, I came to know through your article, which you recently wrote on my request on MSR, he was the first person to start tumor board and tumor registry in a Madras Medical College, sir. Still, if we see in IAPS, uh, 
uh, we don't have a very established tumor board and tumor registry. So what, uh, I mean, clues we can uh, in inspire from uh, Professor MSR and your experience that we come up with a good tumor registry and a tumor board. In those days, we didn't have any computer or anything. And then we used to have every patient uh, details were written in a card, duplicate card. One card is given to the patient, another card is given to us, and the number was given. So with the number, we were able to pick it up and then follow it up later with them. So this is that was started uh, there as an initial module, and then subsequently, so people could take it up later. So thank you so much. And we are uh, trying to work using the newer technology and the application we are building up to create a congenital anomaly and tumor registry very soon, sir, taking yeah, inspiration yeah. from your advices. Sir. Yeah, yes, yes. Yes, sir, yes. as I read from your article, Professor M.S. Ramakrishnan was a true combination of a hard taskmaster as well as a fatherly figure. So yeah. how these two contrast uh, qualities goes along together? Uh, with your experience, could you elaborate on that, please, sir? Yeah. Dr. M. S. Ram Krishnan, we start our outpatient at 7 o'clock in the morning. And then goes and uh, uh, and then he will make a preliminary rounds in the hospital by 10 o'clock. Then the next regular rounds, we start at 3 p.m. So that nobody can leave the hospital at 2 p.m. And then this Rounds goes on till about 5, 5.30 p.m. for that every patient is discussed in detail and then we take that. So, uh, in overall, with whatever minimal facilities and other things that were available, and then he did his best and then, and we were like a uh, small, small family. For example, uh, if my uh, 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 my uh, wife needs an obstetric consultation to some doctors or other. He will make arrangements to get it done, and then uh, uh, we used to meet to, uh, meet together. He was a member of the Gymkhana club, and then uh, all of us we used together for some uh, dinner or etc. So it's like a small family. Sir, uh, I read your article and I noticed certain uh, very surprising facts, which in fact I was not aware of. Like first laparoscopic <laughs> workshop was done by you, sir. And first pediatric urology department was started by one of the uh, 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 successor of uh, Professor Ramakrishnan, Professor Kesavan. Yeah. And first, uh, firstly, this pediatric endoscopic surgeons of India chapter was formed by Professor Ram Kumar Raghupati, sir. So, ah, so, yeah, many, sure. so many successors or uh, students of Professor Ram Krishnan have uh, 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 got so, so much acclaim in the pediatric surgery fraternity. Could you tell me more about this, sir? Uh, first laparoscopic uh, surgery workshop was done in 1998 in Coimbatore, where Hock Lim Tan from uh, Hong Kong came. And then he, start, he started it there. Dr. Dorirajan was also there at the time. And then uh, Dr. Sripati and so many other persons were uh, this one. And this was uh, organized by Dr. Pavi in CSG Medical College Hospital. I mean, there's the first workshop to be done in laparoscopy in Coimbatore. And Dr. Ramkumar Raghupati got all the instruments in those times. And then he started doing the laparoscopic work. At that time, Dr. Rajamani was also his <coughs> assistant. And therefore, they together, they started this. And you remember, way back in uh, very early, they, uh, both of them did the uh, first laparoscopic, uh, uh, I mean, abdominal perineal pull through in Lucknow. And then uh, where Actually, uh, that, that was a great success, and uh, the, the, that, that's how the lap, laparoscopic work was started. The pediatric urology yeah. department uh, was uh, uh, was started. With Dr. K7 joined from Madurai to uh, K7. Dr. K7 was uh, 
postgraduate with Dr. P. Durerajan. And then he joined in 1970 in the Institute of Child Health. And he showed a lot of interest in pediatric urology. And Dr. M. S. Ramakrishnan made him do all the pediatric urolo urology work. And subsequently, a department of pediatric urology was started, for which Professor uh, Kesun became the professor of pediatric urology. And subsequently, Dr. K. G. Vivekanandan, the next, he took over as a pediatric urology professor, and uh, unfortunately, he, he died due to uh, certain malignancies. Extending the discussion further on MSR, uh, he was uh, like, uh, apart from his academic and um, uh, inclination towards pediatrics, <clears throat> he, he was uh, a lot inclined to in the social front of the pediatric surgery and general surgery. Also, he was a prolific writer and he wrote uh, one book which uh, remained incomplete. So could you tell uh, me more about uh, these yeah. things? No, so, you see, he, he was not only uh, the past president of the Indian Association of Pediatric Surgeons, he was also the president of the Association of Surgeons of India. And, and then he was the vice president of the Asian Association of Pediatric Surgeons. So he, 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 was, he was in both general surgical uh, president and as well as the pediatric surgical president. And then he was the first person to uh, attempt to write uh, a book by him, then myself and Dr. Kartikeya Verma were the co-authors along with him. And then the first book and textbook of pediatric surgery, he started writing, but unfortunately, it could not be completed. And Dr. Priya Ram Chandran took it up later, and then it was published. Uh what two qualities of MSR uh, you actually imbibed and you still carry? I mean, uh, as a teacher, professor, mentor, okay, could you mention uh, two qualities which you imbibe from MSR? Uh, well, he used to say it is, remember, it is somebody else's child and then think that it is your own child uh, when you operate on them. Think that you are, it's own, your own child. I mean, that's a very important statement. I mean, you can't uh, you can't do experiment on other children. For example, if you have a new technology, like for example, if you have, uh, I mean, what I am telling for others is, if you are having an excellent results for taking a surgical fistula by an open method, and if you are having about, and it is about ninety to hundred percent if it is there, and if you have fifty percent. Mm -hmm. With thoracoscopy, don't do thoracoscopy. But you might also tell me, unless we operate, how do we acquire those things? Mm -hmm. And the second quality that he gave was the most important person in the hospital, uh, uh, in your department, is your nurse. He used to give great importance to the nurses' training, which I also followed in Prime Tourmaline College Hospital. Thank you very much for uh, giving your valuable time, especially early in the morning. On my uh, humble request, uh, sir, I, I am extremely indebted to you, sir, for your support, sir. A great pleasure to talk about Professor M. S. Ramakrishnan. I mean, his contribution to pediatric surgery, not only in Pamitur, but the whole of India. And he was the first person to start MCH pediatric surgery in 1965. Now, the first postgraduate, Dr. T.K. Subramani, was also a great surgeon. Now, he is retired and doing well in the United States. I mean, he, I mean it was a uh, great privilege for all of us, myself, Dr. Mahavan, Dr. Dayalan, to get trained by Professor M. S. Ramakrishnan. In those days, that was pediatric surgery was a nascent speciality. Thank you. Thanks for Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Bye.